Welcome to Kids Connect. This week we're going to be talking about Pentecost, something that happens 50 days after Easter. We like to celebrate with a little red and orange and, and yellow. Well, as someone who decorates the church, I may have had a few decorations to put up. Um, it may look a little familiar or may not, but we've used these decorations over the last couple of years, uh, hanging from the church. Well, what exactly is Pentecost? Well, it originally uh, was an ancient G Jewish celebration. It was the Harvest Festival, which came 50 days after Passover. Today, Christians celebrate it 50 days after Easter. We'll go into a little bit more about that and where to find it in the Bible. We do have a prayer to start. Oh God, your spirit gives us life to all the earth. We ask that you be with us as we open ourselves to the joy and wonder of this day. Amen. So you're probably wondering where in the world do I find this story? Well, you can pull out your Bibles and today it's going to be an ax. My Bible starts with a, something very interesting. It says, some, some refer to the book of, book of Acts as the Acts of the Holy Spirit because it focuses on the coming of the Spirit on God's people, the church, and in a new and powerful way. So we're going to read from Acts chapter 2. And Acts is located right after John in the Bible. It starts, it's called... The Holy Spirit comes at Pentecost. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Now, they're talking about the disciples. After Jesus died and was resurrected and came back and then left again. Or ascended to heaven, I should say. Suddenly a sound like a blowing of the of a violent wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where they were sitting, the disciples. They saw what seemed to be the tongues of fire that spread and came to the rest of rest on each of them. All of them were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues as the Spirit enabled them. So languages they they couldn't normally speak or didn't normally speak. Now there were they were staying at in Jerusalem, God fearing Jews from all every nation under heaven. When they heard the sound, a crowd came together in bewilderment because each one heard them speak in their own language. Now, Pentecost is a festival where a lot of people come from different nations. So, they were utterly amazed and asked, they asked, Are these not all men who are speaking from Galilee, Galileans? Then how is it that each of them, each of us, hear them in our own native language? Parathians, Ethemites, residents of Mesopotamia, um, Asia and Egypt and all over were visiting and yet they could still hear them in their own native language. They were wondering and amazed and perplexed and asked one another, what does this mean? Then Peter, standing with the followers and friends of Jesus, said in a loud voice, listen, and everyone became quiet. Their ear, ears shone and they smiled. Remember what the prophet Joel said. I will pour out my spirit upon you. Your, your daughters and sons will have words from me to you. Old and young will dream great dreams. Peter's words, the words from God, whirled and twirled among the people, bringing them fiery love of God. Peter told them about Jesus and the promise of the Holy Spirit. 3,000 people joined the followers of Jesus that day. 
So this was a very big event that happened where the Holy Spirit descended on all the disciples who were in that room, who then spread out to this festival that, well, it was just an amazing sight to see. Couldn't imagine what it would be like now, but it was something that changed a lot because then the disciples then went out to the world and started churches in other places around around the area. I did find a hymn that was a little bit that was a fitting for this. Uh, Breathe on me, breath of God. I'm going to sing a few verses here. Breathe on me, breath of God, fill me with life anew, that I may love what thou dost love, and do what thou wilt do. Breathe on me, breath of God, until my heart is pure, until with thee I will, one will, to do and to endure. Breathe on me, breath of God, till I am wholly thine, till all this earthly part of me grows with thy fire desire. That kind of sums it up a little bit. I'd also like to mention that this being our last Kids Connect for the year, we are going to try to have a Zoom party in the upcoming weeks with Pastor Diane before she leaves. So keep posted for that. We'll be sending some things out.